So DeepSeek has been causing quite the drama in the AI world recently, and the most recent model R1 is claiming to be on par with OpenAI GPT-4, but the fraction of the cost. OpenAI spent over $100 million to train GPT-4, and DeepSeek supposedly only spent $6 million. Traditionally, OpenAI and Anthropic have relied heavily on massive datasets and techniques like reinforcement learning from human feedback, which is super resource intensive. So let's look at DeepSeek's technical paper to find out how they created a model with reasoning matching GPT-4. Well, they found that reinforcement learning is really important. You usually include supervised and reinforcement learning data when training a reasoning model, but they were able to train a version of DeepSeek R10 that relied solely on reinforcement learning and it actually had good reasoning capabilities. Given that, they trained DeepSeek R1, and in this case, they used much less supervised fine-tuning data in a multi-stage training approach. Finally, they tested knowledge distillation. So what they did is they looked for a smaller model and tried to use just supervised fine-tuning data on data generated by DeepSeek R1 to distill knowledge into that smaller model. They then took that smaller model and tried to only use reinforcement learning to compare whether that small model would be better than using knowledge distillation. They found that having a distilling knowledge from a larger model resulted in better performance. So models are a lot cheaper and people are bought in. Nvidia stock took an 11% hit and Microsoft's went down by 4%. Because DeepSeek managed to create a powerful AI using a much smaller and limited NVIDIA chip. But here's why we must be skeptical. It's a question about sustainability and scalability. Training an AI model isn't just about the initial cost, it's about ongoing maintenance, updates, and the infrastructure needed to support it. Can DeepSeek maintain this model's performance without the heavy investment that giants like OpenAI and Anthropic have? You know when you talk to Claude, Claude is always out of memory, it always has concise responses, it's simply struggling with the demand. Well you know who isn't? DeepSeek, and they apparently use inference computing, and yet somehow they're able to serve this off of their very limited compute infrastructure. It's a red flag for me. They've also made their model open source under the MIT license, which sounds great, but running a model like this requires significant technical expertise in reliable server infrastructure. While the API is affordable, not everyone has the resources to manage the backend complexities themselves, so while it's open source, the practical barriers to entry are still pretty high. There's also some controversy around the actual number of chips used in training DeepSeek's model. Some say that reporting lower numbers might be a move to navigate international sanctions, especially with the current geopolitical climate affecting tech exports. So here we are, overhyping new AI products again. It's great that they're challenging the status quo, but we're no closer to AGI. Let's see how they're able to hold up this momentum. I'm skeptical.